Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Teams with a Slack. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, Microsoft Teams or log in to our existing account. As you can see in our workspace, uh, we have no chance uh, how, make, how to make this integration work straight through Microsoft Teams. So we will need help from uh, third party or third application. We are going to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And as you can see, uh, we are already here. We want to go to the top uh, corner of our screen and click on integrations. We, can, uh, we want to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. In here, in this window, we want to start with uh, writing down Microsoft Teams. Uh, once um, we chose Microsoft Teams, we have to go with the counterpart, which will be obviously Slack. As you can see, there's already a couple of pre-made integrations by Automate, but if uh, you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down and uh, you can create your own integration. On the left side, underneath the triggers, uh, we want to go and uh, pick Microsoft Teams. We don't want to go with the Slack. On the right side, underneath the actions, on the other hand, we want to pick a Slack. Like send the message, send the channel message, uh, set a reminder and so on. The last thing is uh, we hit the try it now button. And uh, once we do that, uh, we'll get redirected and we'll get asked to uh, log into automate.eo account and we are a couple of clicks away from finishing this integration. As I said before, I will link, leave the link in the description underneath this video. We can also use zapier.com. Uh, we also need to create an account here. And uh, once we do that, we want to go to the bottom uh, le uh, upper top left, uh, top left corner, sorry. And we want to click at make a zap. We can name our zap like uh, teams to slack for future uh, future search and it works basically the same way as at ultimate at the trigger part in the first step we want to start with microsoft teams we hit microsoft teams now we can mm, pick from more trigger events uh, we can pick from six so let's go with the new channel, continue. And now we have to just sign in to Microsoft Teams. On the second action, uh, there is, uh, as you probably thought, you have to write down Slack like this. Action event, as you can see, there's also more to pick from. Add the reminder, continue. And the last thing is you just have to log in to your Slack account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.